Ah, oh, first dates. They can be a nerve-wracking business, can't they? Full of anticipation and uncertainty. Will this person like me? Will I like them? It's amazing any of us ever go on a first date. But what if I could get you some advice that would really impress? Now, this is Gerard Basset, who is one of the best sommeliers in the whole wide world, so there's nothing he doesn't know about wine. Gerard, I think that if I was on a first date, then a bit of wine knowledge from the other person would really impress. So are you prepared to share some of your knowledge today? Ah, let's share some knowledge. That would be nice. Excellent. Ah, now there's a young lady who's just walked in, and she is wearing a very fashion-forward outfit. Very quirky, quite bold, so I think the guy's gonna have to pull out all the stops mm. to impress her. In terms of what wine he should order, what nice French wine, so that she's like, yeah, he's okay, he knows what he's doing. Well, she certainly looks fun and quirky. Yes. So maybe a wine of a similar nature. Mm. A red wine from the Rhone, a Baume de Venise. Okay. It's quite a full-bodied red wine. Smell of black fruit, garrigue, black olive, really delicious. What about a, a white wine for them? A white wine from Alsace, a Gewestraminer. So uh, very spicy, smell of prospetta, lychee, very opulent, rich but dry. Really a beautiful wine with a lot of character. Okay, I think these are wines that are going to go down well because mm -hmm. they're not your obvious, they're not mm -hmm. your bog standard mm -hmm. wine choices, which I think will suit her, won't it? Perfect for them. He's going to impress with this knowledge. Otherwise, he's stuffed. Impress your date by thinking outside the box and arranging your date at a cool, intimate bar off the beaten track. Remember that a first date is just a chance to meet someone new and to see whether you get on. Some people you will hit off with and others you won't. Asking questions is a great way to get to know your date and to avoid those dreaded, awkward silences. Make sure the conversation is a two-way street. Ah, Gerard, look at these two here. Now, this, to me, looks like a very casual date. Mm -hmm. They've arranged to meet obviously in the daytime. I think she's hedging her bets, deciding whether she likes them or not to proceed to dinner. So if we're looking at wines that you can drink in the day, what do you think? Well, I think they look very natural and so happy together. Yes, they do. So um, in that case, I would go for very authentic style of wine. Okay. A white wine for her, maybe something from the Loire, a Muscadet, a classic, mm. uh, bone dry, light, crisp, slightly apple mineral, beautiful dry white wine. Well, that sounds delicious. Mm, mm. It is, actually. And for him, a red wine, a red wine from the southwest, yeah. a fronton, yeah. a lot of red fruit, a touch peppery, mm. and very juicy. Yes. Perfect for a daytime date. I do think he perhaps could have worn a shirt. I think yeah. the hoodie tad scruffy. Well, you know, young, comfortable, relaxed. There's comfortable and there's too comfortable, <laughs> Gerard. <laughs> Go easy on the makeup or aftershave. Subtlety is key. The most important thing? Be yourself. Don't pretend to be someone you're not. Sure, we all stretch the truth from time to time, but don't feel you have to become someone else to impress. Who knew that you were a dating expert as well as a wine connoisseur? Always happy to help. <laughs> Always happy to help. Oh, you have. Thank you so much Thank for those lovely much. tips on these gorgeous French wines. Santé. Santé. I feel ready for a date, I think. <laughs> I know what to order. <laughs> <laughs>